In this tutorial, you will learn how to morph text in Adobe Flash CS6. In previous tutorials, we looked at how to um, move objects around using the motion tweening effect. And we also looked at how to morph objects uh, using the shape tween tool. So it was changing one object and its properties into something else. So for example, a square into a circle and, and changing its color and size at the same time. But to morph text, it's a slightly different process. So the first thing that we'll do is um, we've already created a new file here, just a blank um, empty ActionScript 3 file. And then the next thing that we need to do is to create the text that we want to morph from. So our first piece of text. And then later on, we'll create the text that we're morphing into the second piece of text. So to start with, we'll grab the text tool from the toolbar. And we can pick the color here that we want. We'll just leave it with um, blue at the moment. We can change the size as well and the font style. So we'll select all of that text. Um, just make it simple. Font style, I might make the size a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so grab the selection tool, drag that text, and I'll just put it into the center. Okay, so we've made our first piece of text, and that's a, a simple hello message. And then we want to morph it into another piece of text that says goodbye, so it will gradually morph into that. Okay, so now that we have this piece of text, we actually need to make it into a merge shape. And to do that, we need to right click on it, click on break apart. And what that does is it actually breaks this word apart into the individual letters. But we can't just stop there. We need to right click again, second time, click on break apart again. And now you can see it's uh, actually converted it into a merge shape. And it's made it into something that will allow us to apply a shape tween so that we can actually morph the text. So now that's a merge shape. And we've got the first piece of text there. And now we can just insert a new blank keyframe further along the timeline and put in our second piece of text. So to do that, we'll go... For this example, we'll move up the timeline about 50 frames. So on the timeline, we'll just right click on that 50th frame and click on insert blank keyframe. Okay, so grab the text tool again. This time we might pick a different color. Go green. Keep it the same size and the same font style. All right, goodbye instead. Now, we could just drag that into the center and kind of guess where it needs to go. But instead of doing that, we can click on a tool down the bottom, which is called the Onion Skin tool. So if we click on that, we can actually see what is on the previous keyframe and line it up. So you can just drag the text so that it's in line with that previous piece of text. Then click on the onion skin tool again to um, take that away so we can no longer see the previous keyframe. Now, again, we need to turn this into a merge shape. So we right click on this piece of text. We click on break apart. We right click it again. And then we click on break apart again. And that's converted it into a merge shape. The last step is to right click anywhere between these two keyframes and click on create shape tween. Now if we drag the slider back to the start, drag the playhead back to the start and click on play, you can see that the text morphs from hello into goodbye. And that's how you morph text using Adobe Flash CS6. Thanks for watching.